I want to talk about bravery and creativity with Trevor Robinson, founder and executive creative director at Quiet Storm, an ad agency and production company. Here in Cannes, Trevor, you've been talking about bravery. How does that work together with creativity? Well, um, first of all, I run a small advertising agency in Soho, and it's um, an our main impact out there because we're up against all the big agencies. We have to do work that stand out and work that, that people love and people take to heart and people remember. They remember the brand, not just that commercial that you, you kind of like. So it's our job to really have cut through when, when you're up against big spending clients as well. You've got to be able to do that. So for me, you have to try and really get into what is the personality of that brand very quickly and then you, you have to try and amplify it. And the hard thing about trying to do brave work is not only you have to challenge yourself, especially somebody my age looking at challenging work at times. It, it can be quite, um, it can, can take you back a bit, but also the clients that you're trying to sell these ideas to, um, you have to help them along a bit, you know, especially like we work on the Haribo ads and we were just talking about it. And um, it was, it looks like a very safe ad. It's just that uh, everybody likes them, but it was quite challenging for our client originally because it had no children in it. It had their voices, but it had adults in it, so it had no children. And we, we had to do test films, we had to, to prove that people would like, like the finished thing, and people would think, still think of it as a brand that was aimed at adults and kids. What's the bravest thing that you've done for a client? Oh, God. The bravest thing that I've done for well, a You client. talk a lot about bravery. Give us an example of what you've done. Um, I guess the, the one that got the most impact years ago, I, I was responsible uh, when, alongside my creative partner for doing the Orange Tango commercials, and which set off a little epidemic in London and people were running around and slapping each other and stuff like that. If you see the, the commercials, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But um, I guess that was brave, but it wasn't that brave to do because the client was really up for, you know, he, says, he said quite bombastically early that I want something that's going to make Coke scared. I want something that's going to going to be challenging and I want something that people are going to talk about. So that was easy uh, in a weird way because we're, we had people to back us up. We had clients to back us up. Um, uh, I, I think some of the commercials I've been involved with, like um, some of the work that we've done for sex trafficking, and they were braver because of the people that was involved in it, and it was a really big subject matter. We talked to a lot of brands here who are striving for the greater, the social good. Are you seeing that more and more brands simply want to jump on that bandwagon either because it's in vogue or they really believe in it, and does it have a business impact? I mean, yeah, obviously people are going to always want to I always hate the words like, jumping more with the zeitgeist and, and what's popular and, and if they see something that moves themselves they feel that my brand should be like that and they and sometimes they just want to shoehorn themselves into that situation and I think that shows and I, I don't want to mention names because they've, they've been slaughtered by the press anyway. I think it should to a certain extent be natural but, but I think it's always worth trying to do something something worthwhile and, and, and I think it's always great to try and give your brand a personality and show that it cares and let's face it just because people sell things doesn't mean they're, they're monsters they're people just like us they they are consumers just like us and they they want they want their brands to be loved and and they want to be proud of the work that they do so I'm not surprised people are getting involved with it and I think great and I, I'm getting more and more clients saying to me, I want diversity in my commercials. And I used to try and push black people in front of the camera and try and get them in. And my client would, would kind of go, no, no, my target audience doesn't want to see that. Yeah. Now they're like asking me to put more in. So times are changing and I think it's, it's all, all for the better. And you're, I'm, I'm working with far more talented people now because the net is a lot broader that means in front of the camera and behind the camera as well I'm I'm seeing I'm seeing talented people from backgrounds that I come from as opposed to Oxford grads that I used to be around which are great but it's very one single minded so it's now it feels like you know if I look at my agency we've got a very cosmopolitan agency as because we have that headset. We don't think about that. We look for the most talented people 
and we know the most talented people are going to want to challenge things and want to shake things up, going to want to see things that, that they've always wanted to see in a commercial or in, you know, out there as a viral, you know. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.